On this newscast, we are going to take some time to show you something that we rarely get the chance to see, and that is the fight against the deadly drug fentanyl right here locally from the inside. This drug, as we've talked about so much, is now so prevalent, killing so many people. Some police departments are now forming specialized fentanyl units. And our team from CBS News Texas spent a week with some of those investigators recently, getting unprecedented access. And you're about to see for yourself how they operate undercover, how they build cases, how they take down the dealers. One of their first steps in most operations is to zero in on known places where that deadly drug is sold day and night. There's a, a guy slinging, selling fentanyl um, on a street corner next to in one of our hot spots in South Fort Worth. These guys cut a warrant for this guy's arrest for dealing dope. They have their target on view, and he is currently actively selling dope. Narcotics, if you think about it, it is, it's, it is the nexus of most of your criminal activity. Why does a burglar break into your house and steal your stuff? I mean, can you hear me? To get money to go buy dope. Hey, it's Sergeant Bangs. Hey, how's it going, sir? Good, man. I need two or three goons, like, right now. I got a target on view at the day's end. Hey, you got somebody on the uh, Days In camera right now? Yeah, yeah, we'll be on it for like the next hour or so. Yeah, um, I think that the Mark units are about to do a takedown here momentarily. All right, what's the guy's location? He's right there on French, just at the, the very south end of the, of the hotel. All right, Mark units are moving in. That went ideal. No use of force. Bad guy complied. Smooth. So now we're going to let him, let them clear the scene, and we'll follow up with what they got. This is fentanyl right here. They're called M30s, um, Percocets. Do you see the little M on one side and there's a 30 on the other side? So that's a counterfeit Percocet that is laced with fentanyl. And resell on the street, those are probably, I'm gonna say, I bet you they're paying anywhere from five to seven dollars for each of those pills. So we have different field testing kits. Um, so this one is for fentanyl. So you can take this little Q-tip, rub it all around. Take that. That on soup. It shows up like a pregnancy test or a COVID test. It shows up pretty quick. A single one or a third means it's possible for a fentanyl. Every time, ideally, we'd always work up that food chain uh, because that that's that's the real way to disrupt. They're, you know, hitting the pocket dealers, the little gas stations that are that are busy, the car washes, that kind of stuff. That that makes an impact here and now, but. Two hours after the dust has cleared, that's normally right back up and running again. All right, thanks for giving me five minutes. Y'all can go ahead with it. Okay, so now we're going to go make a, a buy from a dealer. Um, and so we've got us and some other officers out here as the cover, the cover team to make sure that happens safely. The officer has audio video that we're recording at a command post. All right, I got the really over camera. I'm about to try to make the buy. Should be walking away, just about to pipe and come in. Sounds like you might be getting called upstairs. So whether or not she is the dealer or not, she is today. Where y'all gonna debrief? Man, we can any four back of that church. We're gonna go rendezvous to debrief the buy. Talk about what happened, what we got, who it was, where it was. 
that gives us probable cause. That gives us what we need to legally be able to enter that place and take that person into custody and seize their illegal contraband. You can assume there's a lot more going on than what we know about. This, let's say, uh, hypothetically, we know of a particular room that's actively selling narcotics, and so that's the target of our warrant today. That doesn't mean that the rooms right next to it or the other side of the parking lot aren't involved um, or doing the same thing. Um, that just adds another layer, another variable that we have to deal with. Um, so we've got to cover all those threats. Um, we've got to go in ready for all kinds of contingencies and surprises. Robo going around to the front. As soon as we get there, I mean, it's a go. They go, they don't stop, they don't wait. So they, they hit it pretty quickly. This right here is what fighting fentanyl looks like. You got a, an area that's just riddled with crime and violence, and you got a, a bunch of opioid addicted people. It's a sad, sad side of humanity, really. Love the tent. SWAT does the muscle. Um, they come in, secure the location, make sure they make this place safe. Then for and then they turn it over to, to the investigators who then go in and execute the rest of the search warrant. The initial step is to secure the location so that then it can safely be searched for the reason we're here, which is in this case fentanyl. For this block, this is normal. Yeah, that's sad. Murder, robbery, rape, human trafficking, auto theft, narcotics trafficking, gangs, guns, dope. It's got everything every day. That's how bad this one is. Records from the city show that police have been called to the Days Inn nearly 1,200 times in the last three years. City of Fort Worth, meantime, now suing both the owner and the operator of the Days Inn, doing that under the state's common nuisance statute, saying that they know people go there to commit crimes, they tolerate it, and they have not tried to stop it. In a statement, though, an attorney for the hotel's management company says it's unfair and illogical to blame them for what criminals do, adding, quote, that the city and those charged with law enforcement are shifting blame and responsibility to business owners for crimes they did not commit and are powerless to prevent. The attorney also points out that the management company holds a permit to sell tobacco products, though one is not required to sell a pipe. It's not just businesses, though. Police say these dealers are selling in quiet neighborhoods, too, right near schools, in parks as well. And when fentanyl kills one person, it can lead to the destruction of an entire family. We'll get into that tomorrow night.